place is pretty awesome. Just cruising up the beach. Heading up to where I want to fish tonight. I had it to a point where I could see it and he's just gone and dumped 100 meters of line. This thing's insane. Right, get ready for another weekend now. Just loading all the gear up into the car. I'm gonna go do my own thing this weekend. Solo run up the coast. It's uh, well, gonna be two, three days on the beaches. I've got two goals for this weekend. Either chase Spanish mackerel on helium balloons off the beach or if that's not going to work out and the water's dirty or the wind's not right or something like that we'll, uh, we'll go chase mull away on the surf gutters so i've got a pretty pretty good plan in place weather's looking pretty good i'm just going to go and do it need some time to myself so a couple of days no one around best self-isolation you can get i reckon let's get this car packed chuck some new line on my reel I've got to try and fit 800 meters of line on my reel so that I can heal the balloon out far enough because the 400 on it is not going to cut it. I'll have to be sending balloons over 500 out, which is going to, yeah, I'm going to need a bit more line for that. So let's get everything packed and we'll get on the road. So I got ready a bit quickly. I'm now sitting at the tackle store waiting for them to open because I need to get some bait and I need to chuck some line on my reel so that I've got enough line to be able to do this helium ballooning. I've uh, got all my stuff sitting there. I'm just waiting for a mate. Oh man, I just want to go fishing. All right, got all the bits and pieces. We're on our way now. I got a five hour drive ahead of me north. Um, we should get there about two o'clock this afternoon. Praying for clean water. If we've got clean water, we'll chase the mackerel. If the water's all dirty, Chase them all the way. Got plenty of options, and fingers crossed this pays off. I'm hoping we can get a good fish. So let's see how it all pans out. Big drive ahead of me. I'll uh, catch you guys up when we get there. Just rocked up close to my location. Just came down onto the beach. It's really windy, so um, it's going to make things a little tough tonight. But it's going to come good the next next couple of days. I've just drove down on the beach. I'll show you this gutter that I've just found. This little run out looks perfect for Taylor. Um, I'm still about 45 minutes from where I want to be, but I can't help myself. This just looks too good. I'll, uh, I'll grab the GoPro and I'll show you. Hopefully it won't be too wind noisy because it's really windy. And I'll see if I can get some nice fresh baits, a couple of nice Taylor. <laughs> well, it's a tailor. It's the smallest one in the world, but it's a tailor. There we go. Uh, let's keep moving. Oh. Alright. That was windy. No tailor here. We'll keep driving up. I've just let the tyres down, so... The car's good to go now. We've got about... Half hour, 45 minutes up the, up the coast. If I see any other really good looking spots, I might stop, but I'll try and get up there. I want to be nice and ready to go before uh, before it gets dark. We've got a nice big high tide tonight, so that's when I reckon we're going to get our mull away. So let's keep cruising up and we'll uh, see what we can find. It's going to be wicked. This place is pretty awesome. Just cruising up the beach. Heading up to where I want to fish tonight. looking really good looks pretty clean I think nice and deep swells next to nothing it's just wind chop at the moment which is good for what I want to do uh, 
pray that the weather comes good for the next two days. Well, I've got the first rod out now. I'm just setting up the second one. Um, we're gonna be fishing here tonight. There's a nice little gutter behind me, a couple little rocks here and there to bring the fish around. I reckon it'll start picking up as soon as that sun starts to go down. We should start seeing a few fish. So I'll try and film whatever I can. It's a bit hard bait fishing, especially after dark as well. I'll try and film what I can. Fingers crossed for a big muller way tonight. Tonight is the night. It's gonna happen. Let's get into it. Sunset Taylor. Oh, this is great. Come on. Give me the hook back and I'll let you go. Far out. Angry little thing. Oh. See you, little guy. Re rig the bigger bait again. The, uh, BKK hooks are looking a bit worn. Hooked a few fish now. One bait for a mulloway. If it finds it before the tailor do. I just lost something much bigger. Oh. That was much, much bigger.
five and six. Lick it. Well, I tried for a couple of hours after dark. Um, went pretty quiet. Weed moved in as the tide sort of rose. So I didn't actually get to fish the best part of the tide because the weed was just too bad. So we'll try again in the morning. Oh, I'm gonna get some sleep. We're gonna get up at five tomorrow to go and chase this mulloway. Luckily, I'm sleeping where I'm fishing. So this is so good. No big walks. I'm next to my car. 20 meters from where I want to fish. This is wicked. I could definitely get used to this. <sighs> oh, man, it's too early for this shit. It's too early for this. Oh, man. Oh, let's do it. There's fish to catch. This is good. Whoa! Get away from the rock over that way. This has got to be... Oh, this is either a shark or a mulloway. It's got the head shakes like a mulloway. Oh. oh my, the line's in the way there. Oh, it's a shark. Oh, it's a guitar fish. It's a big guitar fish. Whoa. First cast of the morning with the big bait and I've got a really nice guitar fish. I've never landed one of these. I've, I've helped people catch heaps but I've never caught one myself. Oh man. I put 40 pound line on my Catalina thinking it'll be plenty for what I'm going to fish for. But, I'm a little undergunned. Whoa! <laughs> These things have some power. Come on, stop! I don't want to get him, I don't want to let him get out too far because there's a big break out the back there and once he's over that it's really hard to control him I had him to a point where I could see it and he's just gone and dumped 100 meters of line this thing's insane still haven't gained bugger all line back this thing is a monster <sighs> Sun's starting to come up now. Oh, and there goes all the line that I just gained. 20 minutes in now, and he's still taking line. Where is he? He's got to be close now. Oh, there's his fins. I can see him. Oh, he's not happy. Oh man, every time I've helped to land one of these things, it's been very difficult with two people. I don't know how I'm gonna go on my own. They're very, very stubborn when you get them close to the shore break. They don't like coming in. Come on, mate, don't go that way. I don't wanna lose you now. I've been fighting you for half an hour. Oh, this is, okay, this is actually a very big guitar fish. Okay, I didn't realize it was that big. I've just seen his fin come out of the water and it's about 30 centimeters tall, his dorsal fin. There he is, oh, in the wave there. 
There's his fin. Oh, that's a big fish. What? <laughs> what a first cast of the morning. Oh, I want to get this fish. I've never caught a big white spot guitar fish like this. They are one of the hardest fighting things that you can catch. Oh, super cool. They're their own species, these guitar fish, are like halfway between a shark and a ray. People call them shovel nose, but they're actually a white spot guitar fish, these ones. And they are really hard fighters, as we found out. I think I've been on this for about half an hour now. I'm regretting putting the 40 pound on this reel because I've had to go a bit lighter. I thought 40 pounds, plenty for Mulloway. That's all that I need. And then I go and hook this, which makes it really hard. Oh, come on, use this wave, this wave. No! Oh, there's not enough waves to wash him up. Oh. Stop kicking! Oh my god. Everything I do, even changing angles, he doesn't want to do it. Come on! You stubborn bloody fish! Uh, I'm gonna have to go and get wet and get, get this thing because I'm just not gonna be able to beach it. Or maybe now. Oh, he's just given up! As I said that, he's just given up. Okay, that's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh no! Wow, that is a very big guitar fish. This is kind of difficult with one hand. Oh, he's got a remora on him. Stop. With the water. Come on this way a bit, mate. Okay. Oh, wow. Nah, off you go. Swim off. Go that way. Is this serious? Look at the size of this! <laughs> I'm 40 pound that I chucked on my Catalina 5000. <laughs> Blue Sniper 106. Holy crap! What a beast! Okay. Well, uh, we'll get the hooks out of this guy and let him go because he's well and truly earned his freedom because that was an incredible fight. I don't know whether that worked. I just laid down next to it. It's as long as I am, 1.7 meters long. That's, that's insane. Okay, let's get these hooks out and we'll get him back. Where are they? Oh, perfect. That's an easy one to get out. Okay, got it. Pair of Ado BKK octopus hooks. Oh, did the job. All right, let's get this guy back. I'll take the camera out of my pocket. I was don't want to get that wet. Come on, buddy. You've earned your freedom well and truly. This guy would have to be have to be 50 kilos. Right. It's huge, absolutely massive. On first light now, it is. It was pitch black when I hooked him. This big, big boy's earned his freedom. Oh, this is so hard to do on my own. Come on. Next wave and we'll have you cruising. Come on. Give me a kick. Off she goes. Kicking off now. Woo! 
Oh, so good.